representing the United States, having the United States as a client, uh, obviously it's a little bit different than representing an individual or representing a, a company or a nonprofit. Um, who is the client in a situation like that? And if you have, for instance, uh, different people speaking on behalf of the United States and taking different positions, how do you reconcile that? Well, our, our client is the United States, and we, we take great pride uh, in saying that we represent the United States. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say when they're leaving the department or retiring or whatever, uh, how proud they were when they stood up in court and would say, Your Honor, I'm such and such, and I represent the United States of America. Uh, and we really take that responsibility very seriously. And the great thing about being at the Department of Justice is that we can speak for the entire United States. We don't, uh, you know, we're not beholden to a particular federal agency's point of view. Uh, when we interpret the law or advocate a position, we're doing it on behalf of the United States. Uh, and that's not a very uh, big issue in the 404 program, uh, even though there's some amount of awkwardness uh, because we've got two agencies uh, with very different missions. Um, uh, you know, one, the Army, <laughs> and the other, an environmental uh, agency, um, having co responsibility. Uh, the, the conflicts really aren't very significant, uh, uh, and especially as, as both agencies have aged in the process, I would say. They've come much closer uh, in, in, in their views. Uh, and in, in uh, the enforcement area, usually one agency or the other takes the lead. Uh, generally, uh, the core takes the lead if a 404 permit has been violated. EPA takes the lead if there is a violation for not having a permit. Um, so uh, you know, we're, we'll be working primarily with one agency or the other uh, in, the, uh, in our enforcement cases, but we coordinate with both and we make sure that they're both comfortable with, with our approach. Where, where there is a uh, greater challenge, I would say, is in the Superfund area, uh, because there we represent the Department of Defense very often uh, that's being sued under CERCLA uh, to uh, contribute costs to a cleanup based on uh, the DOD or some other federal agency's liability. Uh, and EPA, on the other hand, is enforcing uh, the statute. and. One of our greatest challenges in, in my section is to make sure that what we advocate on behalf of uh, the Department of Defense or some other federal agency isn't in conflict with what we've argued uh, when we're the plaintiff in, in the case. And uh, we're very good at that. We're, we're very good at coordinating our positions uh, within DOJ so that the enforcement section and the defense section uh, work very well together, very cooperatively, to make sure that we're being consistent. Uh, even in cases where we're uh, not both involved at the same time. I mean, there are cases where EPA is seeking cost recovery and the environmental enforcement section is representing them. Uh, and, and at the same time, uh, the Department of Defense is a defendant in that case, brought in by a third party. And we're and my section is representing them, so we might have both views in the very same case, and, and uh, you know it, it, it requires communi close communication and close coordination and, and uh, constant uh, review of what the other section is doing to make sure that we're consistent. But even beyond that, you know, even when we're not both involved in this very same case, we have to be very careful because when the Department of Justice um, advocates a, an interpretation of the law, that's the United States interpretation. So 
many of these issues come up for the first time in defensive cases. And right. you know, it might be in our interest to take a very narrow view of, of an environmental statute. Uh, but we have to always be conscious of the impact that's going to have uh, when the United States is, is the enforcer or the plaintiff in, in a matter. So, uh, you know, we're, we're sometimes my head spins to try, <laughs> try to make sure that we're always thinking about all the consequences of every position we take in the case. Yeah. Uh, but we, that's what we're there for. I mean, that's, that's why we're all within the same division and we report to the same assistant attorney general. And uh, we, we're, we're pretty good at, at being consistent, I would say.